Hey guys, and welcome to the video. We're going to be discussing the new teaser trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters, featuring everyone's favourite radioactive lizard, Godzilla. So get ready to find your nearest kaiju evacuation point as we run into this monster news. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going on around here. So guys, we're going to jump into this Collider.com article. 50 Years of Godzilla Mayhem Burst to Life in New Monarch Legacy of Monsters trailer. The series stars Kurt Russell, Wyatt Russell and Godzilla, whose surname is unknown but presumed to also be Russell. So yeah guys, I've just finished watching the teaser trailer myself, it looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks like something you would see at the theatres, the production value, the CGI and just the cinematography looks absolutely insane for like a streaming show. And um, being on Apple TV+, Plus, Apple, you know, it's a trillion dollar company and they've got all the money in the world and all the resources you can imagine to throw at this TV show and it looks absolutely incredible. If you haven't watched any Apple TV Plus series, guys, you want to get on it because they've got some phenomenal shows and it gives me all the more confidence for what they're going to do with Godzilla. So let's jump into the article and see what it has to say. So it's Godzilla time. The big guy is back and he's taking you on a trip down memory lane as today. Apple TV Plus has offered a sneak peek at Monarch Legacy of Monsters and has announced that its eagerly awaited 10 episode series will make its worldwide debut on Friday, November 10th. So it's November 10th, guys. We've still got a few months out, but, you know, I'm sure they're going to release, you know, more marketing material and I cannot wait to see what else they're going to release. Although saying that I don't want to see too much. I don't want to give too much away. So, but I still want to see more, but not too much. <laughs> it's that fine line. You know, when you're really, really interested in a movie project and you want to see a bit of it, but you don't want to see too much. And there's that fine line between it being spoiled, but, you know, seeing enough to make you excited. It's, it's kind of difficult to draw that fine line. But drawing inspiration from Legendary's Monsterverse and featuring an ensemble cast, including Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell, Anna Sarwe, Kersey Clemens, Ren Watterby, Mari Yamamoto, Anders Helm, Joe Tibet, and Elisa uh, Lewowski, sorry. Lewowski, sorry. Monarch Legacy of Monsters will kick off uh, with its first two episodes, followed by a weekly release schedule, with one episode premiering every Friday until January 12th. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to do it, guys, with the streaming service, because the thing is, if you release all the episodes in one go, people will binge watch it, and then after a couple of weeks, you know, the show will be over and done, and people will forget about it and move on to something else. But if you release the first two episodes, it gives you enough of a chunk to see what the series is going to be like, and then a weekly release is good because it draws out this, you know, it draws out the conversation about the TV show. You have to watch it week by week. YouTubers are going to upload their reviews. People are going to be talking about it for longer. So I think it's a, a good way between, um, you know, not just binging it, but kind of releasing the first two episodes and then week by week. I think that's a great way to do it, in my opinion, anyway. So a sequel series to 2014's Godzilla, a phenomenal movie, which was directed by Gareth Edwards. The show follows the immediate aftermath between uh godzilla and the titans which took out san francisco the series is part of legendary's monsterverse which has also incorporated the films kong skull island godzilla king of monsters godzilla vs kong and the upcoming godzilla x kong the new empire which is due for release on april 12 2024 although i wouldn't hold your breath about this release date because obviously you got the hollywood strikes going on um you know no writers and actors can participate in you know any press tours or press junkets or anything like that so they're more than likely gonna um delay the movie because of the strikes um most movies are being delayed in tv shows which is a shame um but we'll have to wait and see if it does stick with this release date here guys so kurt and white russell for those of you who are wondering white russell he sounds familiar yes white russell was in um captain america uh the captain america tv show and he was the um he was the Captain America um, replacement in the TV show and uh, star of Lee Short and Wyatt playing Shaw as a young man. He joins Monarch in its infancy and Kurt Russell, the present day Shaw, attempting to apply knowledge he gained in the 1950s when Monarch was first founded to study Godzilla and the presence of other titans. Apple released the following synopsis to help set up the broad strokes of the show. So the following synopsis goes on to say, following the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the titans that leveled San Francisco, and the shocking revelation that the monsters are real, Monarch Legacy of Monsters tracks two siblings following their father's footsteps to uncover their family's connection to a secret organization known as Monarch. Clues lead them into a world of monsters and ultimately down a rabbit hole to Army Officer Lee Shaw, played by Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell, taking place in the 1950s and half a century later, where Monarch is threatened by what Shaw knows. The dramatic saga, spanning three generations, reveals buried secrets 
and the way that epic earth-shattering events can reverberate through our lives. So yeah, it's going to go all the way from 1950s up to the present day, and um, it's going to be focus around it's going to focus around this Lee Shaw character, um, going from his younger self in the 50s up to the current day, and he's obviously got the insider knowledge as to what Monarch knows about the Titans, and um, I think the series is going to kind of revolve around his character, which is quite cool. So further information on Monarch Legacy of Monsters. The series co-developed and uh, executive produced by Chris Black and Matt Fraxman. Fraxman, sorry. Matt Shackman directs the first two episodes and serves as an executive producer alongside uh, Joby Harold and Tori Tunnel from Safe House Pictures. Andy Goddard, Bra uh, Brad Van Aragon. Aragon? Aragon, yeah. Sorry. It's, it's, sometimes I butch these names, guys. I really do apologize. So, um, Andy Goddard, Brad Van Aragon, and Andrew Colville. Hiru Matsuoka and Takimasa Arita. I'm really sorry, guys. They always have to throw these names at me, and I'm like, I really find them difficult to read. Um, yeah, Ta Takimasa Arita, executive producer on behalf of Toho Co. Yeah, Toho are the company that own the rights, that own the full rights to Godzilla. Obviously, we've got the Godzilla minus one trailer. I put a link up above, guys. Um, if you want to go and look at my little breakdown of the Godzilla minus one, that's the Japanese Godzilla uh, universe that's putting out a new movie as well. So make sure you click on the link above, guys, and go and watch my breakdown of the trailer for that. That looks phenomenal as well. It's a really good time to be a Godzilla fan at the moment, guys. You've got two of these epic, you know, you've got this epic TV show coming out. You've got Godzilla X Kong coming out next year. And then you've got the Godzilla minus one coming out. So that's three different Godzilla projects within the next few years. So it's a fantastic time to be a kaiju uh, kaiju fan or Godzilla fan in general. Uh, the owner of Godzilla character. Toho have also uh, owned the Japanese Godzilla film due to the release in December this year in the form of Godzilla Minus One. That's what I was just saying, guys. And uh, Monarch Legacy of Monsters hits Apple TV on November 17th. Catch the official trailer for the eagerly awaited series and see your latest glimpse of Godzilla down below. As with most of these trailer video, guys, I'm really, really sorry. I, I really can't play the trailer Um I mean, I, I could try to play the trailer, but it's going to get copyright striked. We can quickly go through it just bit by bit and just do a small breakdown of what we can see. I'm not the big biggest Godzilla lore person, so I'm sorry if I get anything wrong. But let's just kind of skip through. So we start off here with Kurt Russell, Lee Shaw, as his character is called. And uh, it looks like here we've got some guys in... They're obviously seeking out radiation. That's how they um, pinpoint where the monsters have been. They have like radiation and Geiger counters. Um, so they're obviously checking out a site there. And then we've got Wyatt Russell here. Um, that's Lee Shaw, but the younger version. Um, and then we've got this lady. I'm not sure who that lady is. Um, obviously, we've got the Monarch sign here. Property of Randa, WJ. I'm not sure what that is. And then we've got some awesome, like, 1950s footage here of people sitting on a beach. And then you can see Godzilla's, like, uh, spike in his back kind of just poking out of the sea. Look, you can just see him poking out there just on the horizon. Could you imagine seeing that in real life, just being at the beach? And then you're seeing this massive row of spikes from Godzilla just poking out. But obviously back in the 50s, they probably didn't know what it was. So, yeah. And then we've got this guy. Um, he was from the Kong Skull Islands movie. I've completely forgot what his name is, so I do apologize. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest law person. And then we've got San Francisco here. Absolutely annihilated. Look at this, guys. That was the fight that Godzilla had with the Titans in the first Godzilla movie. Just absolutely smashed um, San Francisco to pieces. The bridge there is completely bent as well, broken in half. You remember the scene from the first movie? I'll put up a quick image. Um, the scene where he's like basically cutting through the San Francisco bridge. He's basically like breaking it in half. It's insane. So let's keep going. Um, more of Kurt Russell. And then we've got, obviously, like, this is an atomic... I think this is an atomic bomb because they try and uh, blow up Godzilla with an atomic bomb and then they've put, like, a kaiju symbol with a cross for it. Um, obviously wanting to get rid of the kaijus. And then we've got more of these characters here. Obviously, part of the TV show is going to focus around these characters. I'm not exactly sure their names. I do apologize, guys, if you know them. Throw them in the comments below. We've got a load of redacted, uh, classified um notes here from monarch obviously talking about titans but it's all been redacted so nobody can read it we've got this guy here i'm not sure who he is um and then it looks like we've got sightings here of a new um a new titan i'm not exactly sure who this is but he's like a big bat kind of titan which looks really really cool he obviously has the ability to fly he has like a forked 
Yeah, it's like a forked tail here as well, which is really cool. Could probably do some damage with that. It's like a, almost like a pitchfork kind of tail. Whether these are spiky enough to impale some something with, I'm not really sure. Um, but it'd be really cool to find out what you can do. Yeah, look, massive wingspan. It's like a giant bat. Pretty, pretty cool. I can't wait to see Godzilla fight him. That'd be awesome. Um, another picture of this lady. And then it looks like they've got... So they're gearing up to do some sort of classified mission. Looks like they've got kind of like spacesuits on to some degree. And they're going into this pod here, but I'm not sure... You know, is this being fired up in the air? Is it going underwater? Um, maybe it's going underwater to find out where Godzilla's, you know, originating from or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Then they're making their way for an airport. And uh, they have signs here with uh, Godzilla evacuation route. Could you imagine this being an actual problem in real life and seeing these signs and knowing that Godzilla could attack you and you've literally got to run to an evacuation point from Godzilla? Like, I wouldn't know whether to laugh at this or take it seriously. But I think this is quite a clever shot because this is very reminiscent of what they did, obviously, with the COVID stickers. You know, where you had, um, you know you know, different routes telling you where to go for COVID and all this kind of stuff. But they've kind of adapted that into a Godzilla um, themed kind of version of that, if you like. That's the kind of feel that I get from it anyway, if you guys understand what I mean by that. And then the next image, we've got Godzilla, you know, from the view of his back with these huge spikes. He's making his way towards landfall. And it looks like there's some sort of maybe like a communication tower here, putting out some sort of signal possibly, like luring him over to here. There's some sort of military installation or something here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, yeah, he keeps making his way towards that tower. More of Kurt Russell. And then this is where we get a shot of a really awesome uh, Titan. Let me see if I can play that clip. I might be able to... Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. So this is like a massive kind of like spider or some sort of crab or something. But yeah, he looks pretty intense, man. Like seeing that in real life would make me shit my pants. That's for sure. Uh, more of this character from uh, Kong Skull Island. And then we've got what looks like a broken ship. It looks like a ship that's been turned on its side. And then we have a kaiju here bursting out of the middle. You can see him here bursting out of the middle. It's that bat titan. You can see his head here and he's got his wing. He's got a wing arm here with a wing. And his head's bursting out through the bottom of the ship. Pretty damn cool sh uh, shot. And then we've got, obviously, they're monitoring where the Titans are. It looks like here they've got some dots and they're tracking the Titans. And there's another sh there's another shot of another angle of that ship. This uh, on land, it's been thrown over the side. How it got to that point on the land, I'm assuming Godzilla picked up and threw it or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, more shots of this lady on the bridge. Some plane... Uh, yeah, this is the shot that I was talking about from the original Godzilla movie. Where Godzilla's on San Francisco Bridge and he's just going ham and he's basically just taking over the, he's taking uh taking off the bridge basically. And uh she's just jumped out the back of the school bus looking around the corner, and we've got that iconic shot where Godzilla is coming around the corner and it's pretty damn cool. And he literally looks at her almost. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. You need to change your fucking pants after you've seen that. <laughs> Woohoo! I bet his I bet his breath stinks as well. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so that's kind of where we are for the trailer. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks incredible, especially with this finishing shot here. But like I say, Apple have got all the money and resources in the world to throw at this. And the CGI just looks incredible. The production value looks incredible. And it looks like something you go to the movie theater to see. And the fact that it's on a streaming show, just incredible, guys. But not only that, um, I recommend signing up to Apple TV Plus because their shows and their quality of what they're putting out, the scripts, production budgets, the... The shows, they're just in all incredible, guys. And uh, yeah, it's looking really, really good for this show. And um, I'm really looking looking forward to November when this comes out. But that's kind of where we are at the moment, guys. So that's a little bit of a breakdown of the new teaser trailer for Legacy of Monsters. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Jump down into the comment section. Would you be signing up to Apple TV Plus to watch this? Or does it not interest you? Like I say, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon.